Hi, uh, my name is uh, Jimmy Zhu. I'm the Dean of the College of Construction and Development in Fujian University. Uh, welcome you to watch the online forum of the Smart Cities. Uh, it's an international forum uh, hosted by the uh, Fujian University and by the College of Construction and Development. Uh, so this is the uh, presentation about special information for sustainable development and environmental uh, management. Some of the practical issues from uh, my research center in Fengjia University, the GIS Research Center. Uh, let's talk about why we need the smart cities solutions. Because in Taiwan, we're facing a lot of different kinds of environmental uh, disaster and some of the uh, very typical things. Uh, for example, uh, in Taiwan, uh, we have very, very high density of the population. And also the coastal line is the largest one, uh, even compared with uh, Korea and some other country. And we have a very, very high consuming waste of the energy power, especially from the coal and also the, uh, some of the burning and of the power to create the electricity supply for the entire nation. So there are lots of things has been created because of the different kind of energy, energy uh, consumption. So what can we do? Uh, we can either buy a bet better way of the solar energy apply, and also we can have a good way of to identify where have the uh, coastal uh, pollution by the driftwoods, uh, by some of the illegal uh, garbage dumping, or by lots of things. How can we detect that? And also, how can we save the energy saving things and also make a very good urban planning issues to face our uh, environmental problem. So that's all the things we can do. But how? How can we do that? So uh, the, the, the following presentation will focus on some of the very practical uh, application from GIS Research Center in the Fengjia University. So that's start with a very smart way to solve this kind of problem. As I mentioned about, uh, Taiwan has the longest uh, coastal line uh, because this is an island uh, in this ocean uh, side. So we're facing lots of things, especially for the coastal zone. Uh, for example, like in, the, in this, in this uh, presentation, uh, point po uh, power, power uh, PPT fire, you can, you can see there are lots of uh, illegal garbage dumping or some driftwood because of the uh, ocean wave or because of landslide problem or lots of things. So there are so many different kinds of garbage and how can we identify uh, where are those garbage uh, being deposited and, and if uh, the way to clean the coastal line has been effective. So some of the way to identify those kind of problem is by a very smart UAV things. So using the UAV, we can use a very good image identification or classification to classify different kind of the pollution sources, such as uh, if this uh, is from the uh, illegal garbage dumping, for example, there are lots of uh, plastic bottle and lots of different kind of garbage or this is from the driftwood because of some kind of forest or some kind of landslide or this is by some other things so there, there are lots of way uh, we can carry some good sensors to identify and also classify uh, different kind of uh, garbage different kind of some kind of like pollution in the coastal line so this is the way will be able to tell and also to know if any county uh, has better way to clean those coastal lines. Because in Taiwan, there are lots of volunteers to clean the coastal uh, cleaning actions. So if these actions has been effective and how to assign different volunteers in different county and how we can focus on where and how we can clean those kind of garbage. So this is the way uh, we can make things even smarter by the UAV. So using the UAV, we'll be able to identify uh, where are those garbage dumping, where are those uh, vegetation, original vegetation still exists, 
and where are those uh, triplets need some kind of uh, machinery operation to clean those kind of driftwoods. So, so this is the better way for people to get understanding uh, how the environmental being changed because of this uh, kind of nature uh, things happening uh, in Taiwan about the coastal about the coastal zone. Another way to identify uh, some of the very serious landslides because of the earthquake or because of the typhoon or the high precipitation uh, and also some of the illegal garbage dumping uh, because of some of the very far away from the urban area so there, there are so many places has been uh, found as illegal garbage dumping places so how can we identify the exact area and also uh, to identify the exa exact source or before and after so these are also something we can smartly use the kind of UAV to identify those locations and identify those kind of button and get to know how we can solve this problem in the future. So like, like uh, in this presentation, you'll be able to see uh, the left hand side is before the landslide in the highway and the right hand side is an is a image by the UAV to catch the very serious landslide in the highway. So this kind of UAV will be able to tell the before and the after and how about all the changes and where and how to, uh, being happened of this kind of lens, very serious landslide caused, uh, caused by a rainfall event in, in the highway. So this kind of things will be able to use the uh, UAV to identify the uh, digital terrain model, digital service model, even digital, uh, uh, digital elevation model. So then we'll be able to identify uh, the before and after and get to know how we can solve the kind of problem. And also there's another way to carry the UAV to smartly identify where are those illegal garbage dumping. Because some of the places, especially for some of the public places or undeveloped uh, land zone places in urban area, uh, lots of times some people uh, because of self uh, convenient they will just illegally dump those kind of garbage so how can we identify where has been uh, ident uh, identified as illegal garbage dumping location and so we need to clean those uh, illegal garbage dumping using the UAV another example of smart use the UAV is to identify what's the problem with the air pollution uh, like in recent years, uh, Taiwan being suffered by the uh, very serious air pollution because of different kind of sources, because of the gasoline consumption, because of the coal uh, burning for power plant, uh, because of lots of things, because of the uh, factory, uh, because of those kind of chini to, to create lots of different kind of pollutants, especially for the PM uh, 2.5 or PM 1.0. So in Taiwan, uh, in the GIS Research Center in Fengjiang University, uh, we have very, very good sensors. The freer can be carried by a uh, different type of the UAV. And using that freer sensors, we'll be able to identify different kinds of spectrum. Those kind of spectrum uh, includes the uh, near infrared or the regular RGB and some of the uh, very special uh, spectrum will be able to calculate the thermal things. So using this kind of UAV carry the sensors, we'll be able to identify different places uh, of the uh, air pollution uh, condition or even the temperature or the thermal condition in any places for the building, for the urban, urban, urban uh, area. So like traditional way for find out uh, the kind of air pollution by the factory is you have to have someone uh, to go to the site and get some kind of real data, like catch some of the uh, air sample, and then uh, you still need to analyze if the air sample uh, being collected just nearby has a high, uh, high potential uh, pollutant inside. Then you'll be able to find the factory because of the uh, illegal uh, air pollution issue. But now we'll be able to get the UAV to really catch 
the real, uh, real, uh, the in time resolution of very, very good spectrum refractance. And using that kind of things, we can use a very smart algorithm to calculate uh, what about the PM 2.5, what about the PM 1.0, or even for some of the thermal, like the different kind of temperature. So using the UAV carrier smart, very smart sensors, we can do lots of things. Not only the air pollution, but also the urban heat index. For example, uh, these are some of the example from my campus. We can use this kind of sensors. Uh, we will be able to identify the different uh, temperature refractance uh, by different building in different time. And also because uh, we can build the local three-dimensional buildings uh, information combined together, then we'll be able to catch and, and also to tell about if there are any kind of urban heat index. Uh, things really being happened, or or where has the high temperature, has the low temperature, and also where has the uh, high air pollution or low air pollution, and from where exactly the, the, the location and nearby condition. So we can use this kind of very, very simple uh, Power BI to create the GIS platform and use for an, any kind of like city managers or even the uh, the directors to monitor what is the air pollution things happening now and we'll be able to use some kind of everything uh, combined together with the weather uh, prediction we'll be able to know what will be the air pollution in the next six hours or 12 hours so for the city gov uh, city uh, governor or the mayor will be able to do something uh, to to decrease the air pollution Another very smart way using the UAV is how we can identify those kind of places is good for rooftop to have some kind of solar power can be establishment. So uh, this is also one of the way we're doing for different cities in Taiwan. We try to find out where it has the most uh, good solar power and also can have good solar radiation things. So we need to analyze uh, about the, uh, the, sun, the sun shading uh, things. We need to analyze about the three-dimensional building things. And we need to analyze about the temperature. So, so we can use lots of different kind of information joined together, overlay all those kind of information together. We'll be able to get to know uh, what type of the roof and if if this building or if this uh, complex uh, dormitory is good for the power supply in the future. So using these kind of things, we'll be able to tell uh, every building about their rooftop if it's uh, capable or if it has a very good high potential for the future uh, solar power can be, can be created or can be established uh, in this uh, uh, rooftop of this building. So we need to calculate a lot of things. So from the solar radiation, uh, from the building, we need to have three-dimensional uh, information. And we can use the UAV to identify all the rooftop condition. So using all this kind of information, we'll be able to get a very good, very exact information about all the building factors. We can get to know where has the high potential, where has the low potential for the future solar power supply in an entire urban area. So using this kind of technique and very smartly use the UAV to identify the, the, uh, roo the rooftop condition of each building, we will be able to create this kind of potential map. Like this is the map of the uh, urban Taichung city. So we'll be able to tell by which village has the most high potential for, for the future uh, solar power in the rooftop. So as I mentioned about all those uh, UAV, all those different kinds of sensors, all those different kinds of special information system is a better way to deal our environment. So the purpose of the smart city uh, is to solve the environmental problems. So the GIS, the geospatial information system can really enhance the efficiency and also to get a better environment of Taiwan. I think this is my presentation and thank you for your attention. 
and hope you have a very very good time for this uh, international uh, forum on the online uh, host by the Fengjia University, the College of Construction and Develop Development. Thank you.